Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Thursday the 5th of April 2018 and the time has just gone midday here in London. That's 12pm British Summer Time, BST. Uh, this week's Chart of the Week is going to be the NASDAQ 100. I'm taking a look at the, at the price action over the past few months. We can see that the NASDAQ had a terrific end to 2017 and quite a good start to 2018. But like the, global, like, like the many global indices, the Nasdaq did have a quite a sizable sell-off um, that, that began in January of, of this year, and the market continued to push on higher. And what separates the, the Nasdaq from other indices, particular U.S. indices, was that the move higher in, in, in February and in March actually took out the, the January high and went on to create fresh 2018 highs, which we can see here. But given the uncertainty surrounding the potential trade war between the United States and China and also President Trump's uh, attacking of, of several uh, uh, U.S. tech companies uh, such as Amazon, we did see a particularly large sell-off uh, in the, the Nasdaq 100. As you can see here, the Nasdaq 100 was driving lower here and it ran into the 200-day moving average at this price here and has managed to bounce higher. Now, taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, as the market was driving lower here, we can see a distinct increase in negative momentum all the way down. But now that that market is actually pushing higher, we can actually see a decline in negative momentum. So the selling pressure is in decline, which confirms the upward move that we've been seeing in the past few sessions. Now, I think we're actually, we could be looking at a quite a significant level here. And the level I'm referring to is 6,643. Uh, the market uh, traded up to that level today, but didn't actually quite get beyond it. If we can see here that in, in, in both the early part of March and also uh, the late part of March, it actually has both support and resistance. So this, this could potentially be an area of, 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 of important significance. If you manage to break north of 6,643, the next area to keep an eye out for will, this, will be this line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes to play at 6,778. Notice how last month um, it acted as both support and resistance. So if, it, if a certain uh, indicator, in this case, the 50-day moving average, ha has, has history, recent history of acting as support and or resistance, its chances are traders are going to be keeping an eye off, keeping an eye off for it again, and it could act as a, a resistance and or support in the near term. We should be take out that level. The next area to keep an eye off for will be the late March high of uh, 6,931. And if we go beyond that, we'll have then have corrected, we'll have then have clawed back most of the ground loss between the middle of March and the beginning of April. If you go north of that, the chances are it, it would be quite likely that we could be looking at uh, testing uh, 7,200. But if we don't actually manage to clear uh, this level of 6,643 and the market does manage to turn over on itself and it transpires at the recent move in the last few days has only been a relief rally, we may find some support in around the 6,400 area. And if you go south of that, the key level to watch out for will be the 200 moving average, which comes into play just south of 6,300. Notice how it did manage to act as support only a few days ago, and that is a level that traders are going to be keeping an eye out for. Not only is the 30 moving average often seen as a good barometer uh, for, for market strength or weakness, but also it's, it's significant in this case because it acted previously uh, as support only a few days ago, and a break below that could then bring the February low of 6,163 into play, and should we go south of that, we then obviously creating you know new lows yet again uh, for for 2018, uh, and we could for, the, for for 2018, and we could be looking at heading back down towards 6,100. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.